that doesn't mean that you know, those are necessarily the most important. We've just put them in there for you to tell us right, which ones you want service to. In addition to that, we can also fly to Lagos, Benin, Guinea, Banjul, Dakar, Mali. The aircraft can go where you want it to go. <laughs> it's your airline in essence. Don't forget this is your airline. And if you say, we have to get to Burkina Faso every day because we've got a hundred people flying. Right. Right. Captain, you turn left after take off and go north. It's very simple. Okay? Right. You do not have to worry about this one. Okay. So these, but it just gives you an idea of the range of the aircraft and the capability of the aircraft. Where it flies to regionally will be determined based on market studies and based on the information you provide us to get the data checked. A lot of these, because they are international flights, we can also get the data from the uh, OAG, from the uh, all the airlines when they buy a ticket and things like this. It's registered somewhere, so you can get the data to find out how many people actually travel from Monrovia to, uh, let's say, the Gambia, Banjul, but they're going via Accra, Abuja, London, Gambia to get there. That's something that political will have to act on. And so, um, from our end, I want to say thank you to most of all of us who we have interacted with. The way these meetings were designed was to ensure, even if you are not here today, but you have had an opportunity to interact with us. Tomorrow morning, 10 o'clock, we have a meeting to meet with the, uh, the regulatory body, which is the Civil Aviation Authority, that will have to approve the technical assessment for now. And then, of course, uh, some of the questionnaires and some of the comments you will need from us, meaning our technical people, we have to be requested and they have to, we have to work with them to make sure that they send it in. And I, on the other end, have to, we have to, you have to make a decision between now and tomorrow. What is it we anticipate? Is it a part private partnership? Venture is it uh, to begin with, and then later on we move I on to concession. I think it's concessions from our side. We do have a concession. Concession. Okay. If it is concession, and I see, then we are down the road. Uh, yeah, we're still down the road. Finally. Yeah. And, and so now I would prefer uh, if we, after all of the assessment, boil it down to we want to do concession. Mm -hmm. um, what is it? Uh, and I see together with Bureau of Concession. What is it we can begin to do that will lead the partner with the member to go and what is it we can do in the absence? Do we need to set up a kind of technical committee or working committee? Do they need to have a time period to go and review, meet their leader, why about come back or send the technical team back, back and forth? Those kind of technical things we're hoping to conclude between now and tomorrow evening so that uh, we will be at one page in terms of how they are living, what are the work on the ground to be done and how do we commit time to this work to say within a period of two weeks we expect to do that in a period of for example one month we expect to arrive at a point. Once we get to that to this kind of way of working, we can be sure that our role then as senator and the rest of us the ambassador order to be to follow up, you know, the technical work they see. I will succumb one of my office staff who will in my ask in my basic time be able to follow up on some of the things we need to do so that at the end of the day mm -hmm. I can be briefed, you know, and I can follow up so that we can we can focus. Um, finally I got a call from the president's office. Um, she of course just arrived and uh, her secretary has informed me that she I really appreciate you guys who've been following up the secretary office with some of the line ministry, some of the agency. Uh, to get some briefing that they are having, you are here, they have some meeting that already is taking place and so forth. 
and the president uh, appealed that she wouldn't be able to see you on this trip because she had, she had just come, she had other things on her plate. And then she wished you all of us well. And once you received the briefing from the sector, she and I plan to have a meeting later on to give us a briefing. And then I will inform you as to you know, some of the decisions we'll be taking. Now that we concluded that we're looking into a complete lay section, mm. it now also rests with us. The, after the technical work, we the lawmaker. Yeah. We have to play the role to ensure yeah. that um, we have that legislation prepared and go through the different processes. And sooner or later, we'll be having an opportunity. This legislature will be active early January. Right now, we are not closed, but we are into smaller section, the lower houses into elections, so they are all out of this building. We won't get in here until, especially the last two days, we won't see any of them. So uh, the Senate remain, we are not going by elections. Once we return, before that, our work then is to work all of the detail, and if there's a need for a special section, like we have today, or we, or we have issues, when we do all the background work, we can convene a special section, separately to deal with this construction issue, if possible, pass on it. So these are possibilities that we can do. What, what we need, um, Senator, is when we obviously go back here to identify three, four people that we're going to work with from different departments. Yeah. Now, from airport department, from yourself, from the Total Basic Airport, and uh, from the CA as well, as well, yeah? And then we communicate with these people to get the information or the feedback. Yeah. Within a week, 10 days, okay. we'll be able to put together the proposal, mm -hmm. start looking at the whole proposal, what it looks like. Then they get it back to yourself then, and then come down again, yeah? Because we are working two different projects. We're working on this one and the Jamaica one as well. So next week for us, the Jamaica one, when we get back, it's going to take over again, yeah? Okay. We, we, we actually uh, um, purchased four aircraft in the last six, seven weeks. And we're yeah. hoping two of these aircrafts are going to go to Jamaica. They need, they need to start making money. Two of them are going to head towards this well, way. Like yeah? Yeah. Yeah. So we're, we're actually at that position at the moment. So what we need to do, we're not going to, we, we want your guys to be proactive. And, you know, thanks to everybody we met so far. Very encouraging. You know, there's everybody is here to do the job and do it well and give us what we need. So once we've got the, once we've got the data from you, we'll put everything together. We'll get a proposal back to you. But we need to, before we go, we need to identify yeah. the people tomorrow night. Who are the people we're going to be dealing with? Mm -hmm. So we're not sending you emails and you're busy on election somewhere. <laughs> yeah, so we'll be over. Yeah. <laughs> we'll but yeah. that's a good thing, I think, about our show yesterday earlier. Yeah. So yeah. we're we'll in consultation with his boss. Now that we're meeting the regulatory body tomorrow, yeah. we have met with the business, I mean, the, the people who are responsible for craft. <laughs> so I think uh, between now and and you, after consultation with your boss, we can, we can determine who represent yeah. you guys on the technical team. Having consulted with NIC, please pass the business on to your boss.